Hi guys, welcome back. Scott's back here at Barbecue. Barbecue is the way of life. You know that, folks. <clears throat> Today we're going to do a brisket like a steak. Not kind of like an old school reverse sear, just a sear and then cooked off onto a smoker. I got one of these small Greater Omaha beef briskets. It's a pricey little booger. They cost like $28 million. Dollars? I didn't know it was that much. Wow! $28 billion. Anyways, not much trimming to do here. We're going to take it out of the package and I'll show you how we're going to do this. It is wet, it is cold, and it is dark outside. So let's get this seasoned up first, folks. Alright, folks. Ain't a lot of trimming to do. Maybe take a little bit off of this. That's why it costs so much because all the trimming and everything has been done for you. Like that. So that right in derby. We're going to kind of sear this off. It was, <laughs> I don't know. I like playing around. You know, sometimes cooking brisket can be boring. So, what? Did I say boring? I mean, very fun. You know, cooking it the same way, I should say. After the last 50 years of doing brisket. <laughs> I like to try different stuff. I like to show you guys different stuff. There we go. Alright, that's about all the trimming we're going to do. Everything the sides look pretty good. Back don't look too bad. We're going to take this little corner off of here. There we go. Now, we got some olive oil to help us with the searing process. And we got us some dusted. Dusted, very good on thick pieces. I mean, it's salty, it's peppery, it's garlicky. Everything you need for a brisket is all in this one little bottle, folks. Yeah. Should help build a nice crust when we sear it. Like that. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this side. We're going to probably run this fat cap down on the old Pit Boss Lexington. I'm going to sear this off onto the Monument Grills. We're going to have fun with this little brisket. This $28 billion brisket. Eh, we'll get the size, why not? It's salty, it's peppery, it's garlicky. It's got that charcoal flavor, folks. That activated charcoal. There we go. Looks pretty good. Alright, we're gonna go out. We're gonna fire up the Monument Grill as hot as it can get. We're gonna put some grill grates on there. We're gonna sear it off. And we're gonna throw it over into the smoker. Finish it off in there. Alright, I don't know why. It's fun. Let's have fun with it. Be right back, folks. Alright, folks, here we go. 700 degrees. We're gonna sear this off. We'll leave the lid open. be a total of eight minutes. Let's see what this side looks like. Not too bad. Could be a little darker. We'll see it better when the sun comes up. All right. Let's move the camera. Over here to the pit ball flexing pit. 
turn that monument grill on. Let's do this job for a little while. We're not done with the monument grill yet, folks. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna throw this right on here. Try to avoid the hot spot in the back corner. Alright. When the sun comes up, I'll come out, put some temperature probes in it. I'll bring you back then. Alright, see you later, folks. Alright guys, the sun is up, the rain is gone, the leaves are falling, whoa, the leaves are falling into my cooker, you can tell it's falling in the backyard, folks. The brisket's looking good, reverse sear brisket, well not really a reverse sear, a seared off brisket. I'm gonna mop that with just some hot water, folks. If you can, try to use hot water or hot apple juice, hot apple cider. Brisk bottles are nice. So once again, you're using cold on a cold day, hot liquid on a cold day. Speeds up to cook a little bit. Now we got some little hash marks on there. I don't know why, folks, but... All right, we'll see you in a little bit. 142 right now, folks. Guys, we reached the internal temperature of 165. This brisket's starting to swell up a little bit. Looking good. We're gonna wrap it. We got some of this heavy duty Reynolds wrap, folks. Waving away on this brisket all day, folks. It's very windy out here, blowing my foil. I'm gonna try to get this back in the same place, but I don't think I ever do. My old grill mark kind of disappeared. <laughs> Let's hit a little bit of this uh, fatty hot water that came out of there. I'm not worried about bark so much. I'm not a big bark guy. Days, bark was always a big thing, but backyard barbecuing, nobody focuses on bark. Thank you. The poor sister in law, three kids waiting in the backyard, cares about bark? I don't think so. All right, let it ride till it gets about 195. All right, guys, we're about 196 internal. I mean, it's just a brisket, folks. Don't take the temperature too serious. Have fun cooking a brisket. So pull that out, pull this out, pull that back out, put that back in. We unwrap it. Beautiful smelling brisket. Got that dusted on there, folks. Would you like to win some dusted? Go to my email on my page. Send me an email. First six people I get an email from, I'll send you a bottle of dusted. How does that sound? I try giving stuff away, but a lot of people don't claim their prize. Uh, it's about like 10 drawings and seven of you didn't claim their prize. Find my email in the About Me section there. Really jiggle, folks. We'll let that dry out a little bit and we'll bring her in. My sear mark disappeared, so I might re-sear it, then I'll bring it in, folks. Oh, oh, oh it's so tender. The rain's going this way, folks. We're going to make a little slider for the game today. Be right back in a few minutes, folks. All right, folks, there is our dusted brisket. Cook like a steak. We're going to turn this into some slider sandwiches for the game today. Let's cut it in half though. The grain's running this way. I say this way. We'll cut it this way and then I'll come back and cut it that way. But we're gonna do the old money shot here. Let's see here it is. Hey, we did get a little smoke ring, folks. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get a smoke ring. Wow, look at that, folks. Nice. A brisket cooked like a steak, so juicy. Beautiful smoke ring. Got the bare mountain pellets, the dusted. Wow. 
Wow. Hey, it's barbecue. You're supposed to have fun with it, folks. It's Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Wow. Look at that money shot, folks. Let me give you this one. Do you believe this was cooked like a steak? Look at that, folks. Woo! Whoa. That's so tender, folks. Alrighty. Now, let's try that with that dusted on there. Salty, peppery, garlicky, charcoal flavor off the pellet grill. Oh, yeah. Dusted away, go, folks. Alright, the grain. Grain's running this way. Let me show you how we do this in the slider. We don't want to cut too thick. Your guests will be amazed that you did this like a steak on a charcoal grill, on a pellet grill, on a gas monument grill. Well, that monument grill does more than just hamburgers and hot dogs, folks. That smoke ring's insane, folks. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. And right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to load this up on these little, I got these type of, you got to trust me, folks, they're falling apart. A little pretzel bun. So we're going to lay these things across here and across there. Find this little piece here to fill in any gaps. I'm going to take this into the kitchen real quick. We'll go, let's go across this way. I'm going to load this up. Still a little warm. And we'll go this way. We got some Gouda cheese. We got some, uh, what else we got? Oh, Munster cheese. We got a low lying area here, folks. We're going to build that up there. There we go. Munster and Gouda. Smoked Gouda. Bugada. Hey folks, I'll be right back. I'll throw this in the broiler and melt that down a little bit. All right, folks, there it is. We got some cheese melted down. All right, still insane in that dusted, folks. We're going to take a little bit more of that dusted. Lightly, very lightly. Go right on here. This tend to be a little salty, so you got to be careful. And each one of these sliders... We'll get a pickle. It's gonna be a messy slider, folks. I don't even know where the bottom bun is, folks. These are famous Dave's sweet hot pickles. Just like that. And then we're gonna crown these off. I got some Duke mayo on top. Look at that. Ah, I ain't falling. All right, pick one out of the, get one out of the end or in the middle here. There we go. Yeah, brisket, cook like a steak, cheese, slider. Let's try one, folks. <laughs> Bite through, nice and tender. That's what you're looking for. Tell you what, that dust is good. Like I said, if you want to want to win a bottle of Dusted, email me. The first 10 people that email me, I'll send you a bottle of Dusted, okay? On my dime. I used to do a contest, but no one ever claims their prize. Email me, skygeiger1982 at yahoo.com. First 10 people, I will mail you out either a big bottle or a smart bottle, whatever you get. All right, thanks for watching. Easy steak video on this brisket. Peace out.